today we will learn about leadership what is leadership what are different types of uh, leadership what are different dimensions of leadership styles of leadership how leadership is studied what are the sources of uh, studying leadership and many other important things relating to leadership leadership is a priori uncertainty it is a very complex uh, subject it involves a higher amount of unpredictability. A person can be leader at one place and not at the other. Hope uh, you will like the example of Trump. The purpose of this lecture is not to make you leader or let you know how to become a leader. Be assured, it aims at enabling you to appraise and analyze a leader. Leaders are born in fact. Human being is a leader of his context. Every human being is a leader of his own context, greater or smaller. Uh, there is nowhere called a perfect leader. Before we proceed further, it is necessary to attempt defining leadership. What leadership is. Uh, there is no objective reality, therefore it is pretty difficult to, difficult to be agreed to one definition of leadership. It has thousands of explanations and understandings. But what I like the most is, I think leadership is, is, is about influencing people so that they, they, they will strive willingly towards the achievement of group goals. It is a rather wide definition of leadership uh, which fits into political context and organizational context. Uh, for the time being, our more focus will be on uh, critical leadership. Uh, there are two main important dimensions of uh, critical leadership, leadership in politics. As we aim to discuss political and organizational leadership, it is very natural in our times to be distracted towards uh, Donald Trump while discussing political leadership. Um, in any class or uh, at a debating forum uh, where there is a discussion related to uh, leadership somehow uh, Donald Trump comes in positive uh, in, uh, in indication or uh, in a negative connotation. You and me may not like him but he is a significant leader of our times who has defied everything is on his way. I do not expect a person to behave same in every position. He is nicer to the majority of American people who voted him to White House. Do not uh, say Americans are gullible. You may not like him because he doesn't serve your interest, but he uh, he was expected to serve American interest and he is serving American interest and so was supported and voted by American people, majority of American people. Uh, political leadership usually focuses on achieving set goals, uh, focuses on the end results, Similarly, political leadership uh, may also uh, focus on the on the condition and plight of people. Uh, a political leadership a leadership in politics may have uh, concern for the people uh, regarding their uh, employment, regarding their uh, standards of life, health, and uh, other aspects of individuals so uh, in leadership may, these are the mainly main two, 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 two uh, aspects two dimensions study of leadership is uh, study of leadership is multidisciplinary one learns about leadership from one's own life to biographies of icons who had won their places in history many people believe it to be the domain of management sciences well it is not so management science as depicted in this slide is perhaps a tertiary source of study of leadership. Pr primary source of study of leadership is history, literature, biographies and current affairs. And secondarily, uh, behavioral sciences and psychology also help in the study of leadership. Management science that people believe to be the primary source of study of leadership is the tertiary source of uh, leadership. However, uh, one must not uh, be driven by theories. Uh, don't, one must not be dogmatic. Knowledge can be obtained from anywhere, so one must not confine uh, one's sources. There, there are th there, there are three types of uh, uh, leaders uh, in varying context. Three, um, the, the, the important being a political, organizational, religious. In various contexts, broadly speaking, uh, this is the main categorization. Uh, these all have heterogeneous following 
but they themselves have certain commonalities they they are context specific and there is no perfect leader be he is a political leader or organizational leader or religious leader he is supported and uh, voted by one side he then he must be opposed by the other side so the world is full of aspiring political leaders but sadly very few live up live up to the uh, leadership ideals they are vitally important through the authority of government they assess the distribution of power and resources in a society build relationships with other stakeholders and make decisions that can have great impact on the well-being of a nation and its people a leadership in political framework requires a focus on the long term good of a country above and ahead of any personal short term gains good political leaders require combination of charisma and integrity as well as the ability to assess a situation and make a decision based on what would be the best uh, what would be best for the greatest number of people in a country in a nation in a state um, most of our leadership in political framework requires state statesmanship as opposed to just being a politician this means having the integrity and willingness to stand up for what is right even if it means resigning a position in government or losing an election so there is uh, uh, there is a, a slight uh, difference between a statesman and a mere politician a statesman may be a politician but every politician may not be a statesman. then comes the organizational leadership it is a, a basically a management approach that works towards what is best for individuals and what is best for a group as a whole simultaneous also an attitude and 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 a work ethic that empowers an individual in any role to lead from the top middle or bottom of an organization inspires and motivate the team to achieve organizational goals if you are an engineer and running a big auto company don't behave like an engineer the same goes for other organizations in fact in fact when you are leading such organization when you are leading an engineering company automobile company you are not dealing with you are not dealing with the automobiles or the company products you are rather you are dealing with the engineers who are human being so once you become manager you manage people not their work there is a paradox associated with this which is called management transition trap many workers or engineers or experts or specialists who Uh, are promoted to management positions they they, they do not stop being uh, specialists and engineers so so leadership is a different thing when when you become a manager when you become a leader you stop behaving like a manager you have to you have to care, care for the people the uh, subordinates working under you rather than their work they they themselves will look after uh, their work if you all focus on them this is a manage this is a good great management approach then there is a type uh, a difficult type to handle with this religious leadership it is a very complex uh, type of uh, leadership it makes people do things sometimes bizarre and dangerous without monetary interest and worldly gains it leads people to the realms of personal satisfaction in fact why people uh starts working without monetary interest and worldly gains is the fact that it works its its consideration is different it primarily it primarily utilizes intrinsic intrinsic fears and ignorance of the followers again like other types it is also context specific religious leadership of uh, one religion or sect may not be uh, acceptable to the uh, people in uh, other contexts so uh, leadership is whatever its type may be is 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 context specific mao zedong hitler joseph stalin napoleon all were context, context uh, specific leaders there is a difference between management bit uh, a tricky uh, concept leadership is not about titles positions or flow charts it is about one life influencing influencing the others a man who wants to lead the orchestra has to turn his back to the crowd so leadership is not about coming to the whims of crowd it is about leading orchestra very well so the crowd follows perhaps the famous uh, quote or thing that management is doing the things right and leadership is doing the right things difference and distinction between the two concepts the styles of leadership are very important this uh, matrix defines these 
styles of leadership almost all types of leaderships fits into this matrix there are two main uh, aspects and dimensions of leadership that we earlier focused one is goal oriented dimension the other is welfare oriented definitions so here are four, four, four types of uh, uh, leaders starting from uh, we'll, we'll see one by one you see uh, goal oriented going from up uh, down to up and a welfare oriented arrows going from left to right leaders fear leadership type of leadership which is not neither uh, much goal oriented nor it is uh, much welfare oriented in different type of leadership this is passive approach basically uh, the leaders fear leaders leave things alone they they they, they, they do not lead from the front they they let pe other people make their decisions they are very soft and very benign uh, similarly we should uh, see in these details leadership leadership is non authoritarian type of leadership they, they, they try to give the least possible guidance to subordinates and try to achieve control through less obvious means they believe that people excel when they are left alone to respond to their responsibilities and obligations in their own ways there are many workers who wish leaders fair leaders who like leaders fair leaders because these are very soft for them then there is a type uh, utter called autocratic leadership the autocratic leader retains all power authority and control and reserves the right to make all decisions even micro decisions they distrust their subordinates and closely supervise and control people under them they are the big enemies of creativity in fact and usually fails to meet organization goal but sometime uh, they are very quick decision makers and may help achieve uh, success in lesser time uh, increase in greater social interaction and liberalization of human thought have belittled their chances of uh, success on average in modern times how they may still deliver in third world organizations where there are higher rates of unemployment uh, there is there are very few employment opportunities people work in stress people work in in, in, in distress so they they sometimes prove to be good leaders there then there is benevolent leadership it's very people oriented it is rather more people oriented uh, than goal oriented it be organizes uh, organizes people it, it is paternalistic and uh, atmosphere is very uh, commingling atmosphere non comparative according to robin greenleaf who coined the term uh, servant leadership for benevolent leadership the leader is a servant first it means that the leader ensures that other people's highest priority needs are being served first a benevolent or servant leader focuses on the growth and well-being of people and the communities to which they belong this is their priority they have the ability to build strong teams and are excellent at relationships and building rapport they see the big picture and create synergy through trust however they lack uh, uh, they lack authority and may not be identified as true leaders they can be demotivating for others on, on the team who may feel left behind staff their staff or people working under their their subordinates can feel lack of motivation when the leader is always uh, helping with work and providing all the answers to them so the question arises uh, what is uh, the best uh, situation or uh, best style of leadership uh, i believe uh, uh, the theory z dame leaders who are equally goal oriented and equally welfare oriented are more uh, successful examples of leadership the 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 inclusiveness and their their balanced approach is perhaps more rewarding and more popular so is more appreciated in, in organizational structures particularly so what are the results of these styles of leadership uh, the theory l uh, which is uh, laissez faire leadership is very low in productivity and theory x is autocratic leadership it is yeah, obviously my way or high high way they create very low job satisfactions and when uh, union activities and such type of activities start in their uh, leadership then there is country club leadership which is called benevolent leadership their achievement is also uh, low the people who are excellent workers 
when they are treated at par with the people who are, who are least performers they get disheartened and they leave organizations however the good manager the theory z high productivity leaders they are to give low turnover and their employee commitment is uh, relatively good appraisal of leadership Bob, if we list down the characteristics and skills required for a leader it is easy to acknowledge how different and versatile things are lead, needed to be a leader may have the quality of vision he may have uh, great vision his personal values integrity morality are important his feel for his office and responsibility are important his feel for people his concern for people is uh, evaluated his communication skills his his uh, connection with the people his ability to get connected with people is very important his approach to decision making how he involves people in decision making the how a leader uh, makes decisions is he an autocratic leader is important his legacy what he has done for his followers so far is important people people usually uh, not, uh, do not uh, majority of people do not believe uh, claims what a uh, person or really claim to do rather sometimes they also focus what he has done what is his legacy a leadership is also uh, analyzed appraised from this perspective so there are there are many dilemmas associated with leaders one of the dilemma is leadership versus popular opinion how long and how far uh, leaders go with popular opinion so as we discussed the orchestra example that uh, a good uh, a leader who, who is leading orchestra has to turn back to the crowd so it's same goes for uh, good leader great leaders but it is not always correct sometime sometime people a leader has to listen to the people public opinion is fickle thing particularly in today's age it is hardly stable a leader do not have to listen all the time it is his job to govern and manage uh, though it is very debatable issues uh, because the public opinion popular opinion is polarizing very polarizing and in situations of polarization one doesn't have to wait people to take decisions or react for example brexit is very important in this respect david cameron had uh, the opportunity to not to leave uh, european union and people voted him to be prime minister of england to take decision on the behalf of people of england uh, but he couldn't take the decision and he uh, rather went for the he uh, threw dice uh, to the people of england to make decision uh, and you know what they did uh, they uh, they voted for brexit and even without knowing uh, majority of them uh, were not even aware of the pros and cons of brexit but they did at the spur of moment and now they are thinking that what we have done so leadership lead, leader a successful leader, leader a successful leader is identified by the degree of his observation of the world and following clear headedness a confused mind cannot lead it is the duty of leader to manage manage meant does not mean that he has to dictate sometimes the leader has to listen to the masses they have to follow but then leaders are supposed to uh, to, to to listen their uh, their followers i think combination of following and leading is the part of managing leader's primary job is to manage he has choices to manage his followers peers and bosses we'll discuss how he manages his followers and peers and bosses every leader he has a has to set up a leeway for himself the leeway is a territory in which a leader can move good leaders need to set up and increase their leeway gifted leeway automatically it is up to the leader how much leeway he creates and consolidates policy and decisions are wrong for some and right for others a leader's job is not to wait and see things happening his job his job and duty is to take decisions uh, quickly but a leader his decisions and his efforts should be ethical and morally uh, acceptable one important thing about leaders is that they listen great leaders uh, do not do their job themselves first of all 
they 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 great leaders have great teams in fact they look for talent and get things done mikavli uh, said in his famous dialogue have an advisor and listen to him in fact it is a technique to minimize the error uh, a single man uh, cannot do alone everything particularly when the size of uh, organizations or his territory is wider a single man cannot do so many things at his own mr lee kuan yew prime minister of singapore was always looking for better people even from the enemies so listening listening is the great quality of leaders and getting things done by team members and selecting great team members is a great quality great leaders do this other important thing perhaps the last thing we are discussing today is impression management it is also the Uh, job of leaders and their teams to manage the impression of a leader human beings tend to judge by impression in fact uh, therefore they, therefore marketing people are the best at impression management um, you must have observed that uh, on advertisements many of advertisement and reception and hospitality jobs uh, girls are assigned these jobs why because they can smile and it is said that smile is the strongest of tools and they create a, a, a good impression so marketing companies and management companies hire people who can better manage their impression through different uh, ways so leader has to manage his impression before the boss uh, with his peers and with his followers it is said richard nixon was a very valued and experienced man he was very uh, well read man how are people believe uh, that he used to wear dishonest look whenever he he used to come on tv uh, while kennedy was charming man you um, may remember what happened to nixon when the time came people didn't forgive him uh, uh, whereas kennedy was forgiven for bay of pigs however he was wise wise enough to mend his ways and react to cuban missile crisis later today is the age of fake news social media people can be managed so leaders invest a lot in managing people social media sells of various political uh, figures and leaders vote for this uh, it's it is enough for today uh, we will start we will elaborate the concept of leadership in the example of past examples in the next next lecture